Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about one of the concept of permutation and combination. For this example, I have chosen the Cricket World Cup and we know there are 10 teams uh, in this tournament and each team will play another team uh, one, one time. So how many matches we would have to organize in that case? Uh, so this could be a little bit confusing for a lot of us. Uh, and um, um, there will there is a direct formula uh, if we know the concept of permutation and combination but here we're not gonna use that formula but instead we will take the baby steps and do the calculation um, in um, in a very systematic manner right so now let's say that we have uh, 10 teams right so now talk about team one so if you talk about uh, team one now team one gonna have how many matches now we know that other than team one, so team one cannot play with uh, itself, right? So team one has to play with team two, three, four, and five. So if it play with the uh, uh, team uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So if you count all of these, there will be total of nine matches, right? So team one will play nine matches right now if we talk about team two now right now team two will also play nine matches it will play with one three four five six seven eight nine and ten so it will also play nine matches so this is true for all of them right however where is the trick the trick is now if you talk about this now you can see that team two has played with one so this is two and one right now we also have this same scenario here we have one and two so this match we already counted now you can see this match we already counted in this nine matches so if we have to do the counting we have to count nine matches plus this will be eight matches we have to count eight because one is already been counted in this uh, uh, calculations right so we have eight matches left because this match already happened here right because we are calculating how many total number of matches gonna happen if we count it again here then we're gonna have two matches between two and one right so we have to do eight so this will be equal to nine plus eight so this is our nine plus eight now if we do the same thing again now let's do team 3 so we have team 3 now team 3 has 1 2 now it's not gonna play with 3 right so we have 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 right now if you look here 3 right so 3 have uh, uh, there been a match between uh, 3 and uh, someone else yes we already have match 2 and 1 right so 1 and 2 already played so we have 3 and 3 so these two matches we have already counted right now this was here and this was here so that means we can we cannot count these two matches so we are left with seven more matches so if we do the same thing again and again we're gonna have six plus five plus four plus three plus two so now this is for team one two three four five six seven eight and nine the team 10 they already been zero right so this will be the total number of matches that will be played